And good afternoon alongside Thomas Conroy. I am Ben Schneider getting you ready for the Division Three Northern Section Championship game between Enterprise, the Hornets, 20 and six on the year, taking on the Foothill Cougars, 20 and seven. Both teams very similar. And let me get you your starters here before we get ready to rock and roll. First for Enterprise Hornets, the number one seed. They're going to start uh, number 10, Taylor Agley, a five foot nine junior. Number 11, Kalen Christosto, a 5'11 sophomore. Number 20, Brad Woods, 5'9 junior. 24, Andrew Fitzhugh, 6' junior. And number 40, Brandon Eyer, Ayers, sorry, Ayers, a 6'6 six six sophomore. So for Enterprise, they're going to start uh, two sophomores and three juniors, not a single senior on the roster. For Foothill, number 10, Brett Cloney, 5'10 sophomore. Number 15, Gabe Porter, 6' two senior as Foothill controls the tip moving left to right starting out your the rest of your starting five number 21 Jeremy Sample six foot four senior number 32 Dalton Kelly a six foot two senior and 40 Cooper Janu Shefkis a six foot four junior so mentioned Enterprise not one senior on the roster even he'll start three sophomores two juniors and their coach Mike Haworth in his 33rd season with Enterprise told me that the first person off the bench will be a freshman, so very young. So maybe experience versus youth here. We'll see who can prevail. Foothill, the home te or visiting team in the all black uniforms. Here's a 10 foot jumper. Right baseline is money in the bank. And that was. I think that's Jan Yukowski. Had a, was it 42, but. They don't have a 40 on the court. They don't have a 42 on the roster, so. Hmm. Interesting. I don't want to assume it's Janu Shefkis, but hmm. Well, we're gonna get Jeff Kurtz is on it, so our producer is gonna figure out what's going on. Uh, either way, Foothill leads two nothing. All black uniforms with the red trim, red numbers on the back. Enterprise, the home team, the a little bit better of a record, twenty and six. They have the all white jerseys, the yellow trim black numbers with the yellow shade in the back. Moving right to left. Just underway here, 646. Foothill on top, two to nothing. Looks like Foothill in a two, three zone. Oh, good look inside. And the bucket made by Christosto, the sophomore. So we're all knotted up at two. Thomas Conroy gonna keep stats for us. There's a save, but three on two, Brewing back the other way. Uh, should have kept it a little bit longer. However, Enterprise gets it back. Big dribble left block, kick it out, good. So Christasso, a couple early baskets. Finds his Foothill head coach, Bill Elliott, in his 12th year to call a timeout. 6.08 left to go, four to two, Foothill on top. You can watch highlights or a replay of today's game in our in-demand section. You can also buy a DVD or a Blu-ray of today's game right on CIFNorthern.tv. Simply click on Buy DVD and you can order today's game right now. Have a game that lasts a lifetime. Brought to you by CIFNorthern.tv. So we're, we're back here. Six minutes to go, four to two is the score. Foothill with the ball. Thomas is gonna get the number confusion set straight for us. Air ball, long rebound, Enterprise has it. Leading by two. Ooh, got away with a hook. Pass it up top, swing it around the perimeter. On top is Christosto. Christosto has it. Finds Angley. Cross court pass to Fitzhugh. Fitzhugh, nice dribble drive, jump stop, no. Big offensive rebound. That was Brandon Ayers, the sophomore. So, Thomas, do we figure out who 42 was? 42 is Cooper Janu Kakis, and there's two additional numbers. Janu Shefkis. Janu Shefkis, excuse okay. me. And then we have two additional players on the roster. Number 34 is Blake Trent. And number 40 is Cole 
Haverson, H-A-L-V-E-R-S-O-N, if you're keeping the score at home. Haverson, and those are two additions. All right, so we're all set now. Roster straight, 5-2. Second free throw for the big fella, gets the shooter's roll. So Enterprise now on top, 6-2. It's a number one versus a number two seed. Three ball from the masked man. <laughs> and that is Jenny Shefkis misses it, but it's off of Enterprise, so it'll remain Foothill Ball. Acker Gym, campus of Chico State. Jenny Shefkis has it. Gets it to Fudge. Here's a three ball, runs in. Dalton Kelly from downtown, six to five. Great athlete, I uh, was talking to the head coach. Bill Elliott, his 12th year with Foothill, says that Dalton Kelly got a full ride to play baseball at Santa Barbara next year. So all around athlete, kick it out, three ball for the match. Yes, sir. Both teams coming out hot, Taylor Angley from downtown. And it's eight to five. And you really take it right back early on that this is a young team for Enterprise really has great poise on the court. You can see why they're a number one seed. And just sophomores and juniors, some freshmen even. Twelve to shoot. Good defense here by Enterprise. Just straight up man to man. Fifteen footer, no. And weak side rebound, good. Enterprise looks to push. Four minutes left to go, nine five. Hornets on top. Three ball for a seven point lead, no. Good boxing out and Cloney and Foothill look to push. Cloney still has it, keeps his dribble alive, throws it on the left wing. Now back out to Cloney, dribble drive, hands it off. Good look, weak side. Can't get the roll, but he'll go to the hoop. Dalton Kelly. Oh, I love that no look pass right underneath the basket to Kelly and drew the defender over. First foul on the big man, Brandon Evers, as he had to come over to make a stop there and try to block the shot. Bobby Clements with the call. Our head official is Joe Karung and also Chris Malone. Three-man crew officiating so far in this tournament's been fantastic. We came here to, to do 10 games. We've done six so far. No, we've done seven. Yeah. This There's is a three more to go. 9-6. 3.35 left to go in the first. Our producer is Jeff Kurtz. Our videographer, Justin Barney. Alongside Thomas Conroy and Ben Schneider. Thanks for tuning in to CIF Northern.TV. Good defense here by Enterprise. They get the steal by Foothill, I should say. The visiting team in the all black, the red trim, getting the instructions from Bill Elliott in his 12th season with Foothill. Drive and a scoop shot's good. Janu Shefkis, six foot four junior, nine eight now. The mask man went to the glass. And it looks like Foothill now two three zone. Stepped on the inbounds, did uh, Fitzhugh. Good defense there by Samples right there for Foothill. Really gave him no option, but he had to go tiptoe the baseline and could not. And that caused a turnover. Nicely done there by the Cougars. And as Coach Howith told me, the first one off the bench, Justin Abney, five foot nine, uh, just a freshman. And also in Tyler Eights, six foot one junior. The first subs of the game for Enterprise, the number one seed. Here's a three ball on the way, looks good, and doesn't get the roll. And the rebound taken by Ayers. Yeah, great, three great on hustle two. there. Corner three, wisely checks it up top. Now back to him, three ball on the way, nope. Good rebound on the weak side there by Samples, senior. Enterprise can take their first lead of the game. They trail by one, nine to eight. Get inside, 20 to shoot, three ball long range, cash money. Great ball rotation right there by Phil Hills.
did the old in and out game, got the open three and their first lead. Jeremy Samples, 11-9 now, and that's a turnover. Yeah, wild pass by Angley right there. Has to settle it down. He's a junior, he should know that. That was just a tough break right there for Enterprise. They had a good feed down on the baseline. It was just a wild pass. Starters Fitzhugh and Woods check in for Enterprise. So just a quick breather. 11-9, Foothill on top with the ball. Throw it to the left wing. Another three, no, this time Danny Shefkis misses. And it'll be Enterprise ball. Great offensive rotation by Foothill to get to that open shot. Really making the Hornets uh, defense kind of guessing where they are, so nicely done. Foothill gonna stay in a 2-3. Woods to Christos, Christosto. Christosto back up top to Woods. Two-man game, cross-court pass, three ball on the way, left check, no. And as we approach the one minute mark, Foothill gonna hold for a shot here. They lead by two. And drawing the foul, Jenny Shefkis. So he's showing he can hit the three, takes it inside. That time got down low in the box. Ben got good position on his defender and it was, it was, a, it was a crossover foul as Everett's trying to come over to double team him and he got him up in the air and that's his second. On Danny Brand Chef kiss, no, go ahead, that's uh, long. No, Brandon Everest, that's his second foul. To Coach Howworth for Enterprise, rotating door there now, bringing a bunch of subs in. We're gonna give the big man Ayers a break. Brings back Isaiah, actually Isaiah Matthews making his debut, uh, another freshman. So both free throws missed by Jenny Shefkis. Under a minute left in the Division Three Northern Section Championship game. Fifteen to shoot. Throw it to the corner. Ooh, that's gonna be a turnover. Foothill with a man leaking out. Oh, good defense getting back. Uh, what a hustle play by Christosto, but on the deflection, he caught it, he was out of bounds. So shot clock turned off, Foothill can hold for one. They lead 11-9, sub. Elijah Putnam comes in, replacing Janushevkis. Looks like they're gonna go for it. Score it. And a chance for a three-point play for Josh Smith the old-fashioned way. The senior. Why hold for one if the lane's gonna be wide open? First foul there on Fitzhugh. So Smith misses the chance for the three-point play. 13-9, 15 seconds left. Here comes Enterprise, full tilt to the basket. No. Foothill the rebound, now they can hold for one. Smith has it. Seven seconds. Here's Deaver, knocked out of bounds with 1.7 left in Enterprise. <laughs> We've had about four possession changes in the last <laughs> 20 seconds. I know. Here's a half court heave, good if it goes. Not even close. That's the end of the first quarter. And after a slow start, Foothill has taken the lead 13 to nine right here on CIFNorthern.tv. You're home for high school sports in the Northern section. You can watch highlights or a replay of today's game in our on-demand section. And you can also buy a DVD or a Blu-ray of today's game right on CIFNorthern.tv. Simply click on buy DVD and you can order today's game right now. Have a game that lasts lifetime. Brought to you by CIFNorthern.tv. Now, if you're looking for a place to advertise your business while reaching the greater high school community, then you want to advertise on Northern on CIFNorthern.tv. We have great rates for your business while giving you the opportunity to get your message out to the very important demographic. For more information, give us a call at 
13-9, Cougars. The Foothill Cougars are ahead of the Enterprise Hornets, and back with more play-by-play, -play, Ben Schneider. And the Hornets started out hot, and they've missed, I believe, their last five shots. We go with Angley, Cristosto, Woods, Fitzhugh, and Iyer. So starting five back on there for the Hornets. For the Cougars, Cloney, Porter. It's like Josh Smith gonna stay a turnaround jump shot, good. He got it to the big man, Iyer's down low in the box. He just powered up, nice move. Also Putnam into the game for Foothill. Yeah, like Good it. hustle. Putnam just tried to get Ayers outside. Yeah, good strong take. Yeah, off that, off that loose ball, Putnam got it. Showed his quickness right to the goal fast. I like it. It's like, I'm going to go right try to stop me. No hesitation or anything. Just like a bulldozer going straight at it. 15-11, Foothill on top. Enterprise with the ball. Enterprise out of Redding. Kick it around. Good patience on offense. Good shot. Follows his own miss and uh, looked like a clean block, but somebody could have got him with the body. And Andrew Fitzhugh, six foot junior guard, will go to the line. First foul in Putnam. Did look like he had clean, clean from up above, but down below looked like he might have gotten a hip on, on the shooter as he was taking a shot. CIF doing a great job putting these tournaments together. First free throw is nothing but twine. Fitzhugh cuts the lead to three. And Art Akers Gym here at Chico State. Second free throw is good. That time hit a little bit of rim. 15-13, seven minutes to go here before half. Entertaining ball game so far for the Division Three. Northern section title. Both teams will advance to the state tournament. Difference is the winner gets to host a home game, the loser has to go on the road. For Enterprise, both teams actually just had to win one game to get here. Enterprise beat Paradise and Foothill beat Las Plumas. Both won pretty handily, so both had first round buys. Or actually, we're gonna have number one and number two seed this game in the next two. Swing it around the perimeter, 12 to shoot, good move, but offensive foul. Way to take the charge. And that was Brad Wood sacrificing his life. But I like the offensive move by Dalton Kelly. He showed great quickness on the baseline, worked his way back into the paint, and he forced the defense to make a play. They did, they got the charge, and that was his first foul. But, but early on, it looks like Foothills, they're, they're their front line is very fast and mobile and can shoot from the inside and outside. Yeah, they've definitely been the more aggressive team here so far. Enterprise settling a little bit for the outside shot. Coach for Enterprise, Mike Haworth, I said, he's the girls coach, he looked very familiar to me, and then he said, no, I'm the vol girls volleyball coach. <laughs> and they won the section this year. So that's, that's where I recognized him from. Here's a three ball top of the key, looks good and is good. From downtown, Brad Woods. Cuts the deficit to one. Good move baseline, and how about using your body? Great timing, came up a little bit short, Woods has it. Hit a triple on the last possession. Enterprise can retake the lead with a bucket. Woods up top, but it fits you. Good ball movement, nothing but net. And that was Cristosto. Nice play there by Crusasso. Great ball movement offensively by Enterprise. I'm wondering if they gave the bucket to the wrong team there. So I think it was, well, no, is it, are we good? 18-15, okay. Enterprise was up one, so I, I misspoke. Ooh, reverse layup, what a follow. It's good, Crusasso again. Now Enterprise, uh, largest lead, 2015. He started the fast break with Woods. Woods wins the layup, a great follow up by Crusasso. We get another bucket. Here's Gabe Porter. He's their leading scorer. He's the best player on their team, according to head coach Bill Elliott. And University of Pacific's looking at him. So trying to catch on with the Tigers. And right there, Enterprise turned the ball over. 
getting a little bit out of control offensively. Just slowed it down there to work for a good shot. 2017, five minutes left to go. Porter has it up top. Get to Kelly. Good patience here by Foothill. Porter, nice driving dish. Oh, Porter does it all, doesn't he? But the uh, shot's missed. Wow. Well, it looked like he got rid of the ball before he traveled. And it looked like maybe Maybe 32, Kelly may have hit him from behind to draw a foul, but neither way, none of that worked for Enterprise as the ball gets turned over. 2017, 435 left to go. Wild shot, but he's bailed out. So eight, Tyler eight, six foot one junior will go to the line. First trip today for eight. Got to bend your knees a little bit more, eight. <laughs> <laughs> and into the game for Foothill is Kenneth Fudge, six foot three senior. And Staples has come back into the game for Foothills as well. Both, so both free throws, exact same spot, just a little bit long. Very stiff looking uh, free throw shot there. But well played first half. Not a lot of turnovers, not a lot of fouls. Both teams feeling each other out here. Woods has it, left check. Dribble drive, throw it over to Costasto. Skip pass now to Abney. Ooh, near turnover. Woods able to track it down, 10 to shoot. Christosto all the way to the paint, but offensive foul. And that's what the big man will do coming into the game. Taking the charge right off the bench was Fudge. Fudge read it perfectly. The senior saw that Crisalo was going to go all the way to the goal because he knew he had a little sh short amount of time on the shot clock. Stood right in front of him, challenged him, and got the charge. Porter has it up top to Fudge. Back to Porter. Porter going to take a high screen from Kelly. Cross court pass, three ball. Yes, sir. From downtown, Jeremy Samples. That play was all Porter, no look pass to Staples. Caught the defense flat footed and Staples wide open for the corner, Jay for three. Samples, great frame, six foot four senior. Good stroke there. 2020, what an entertaining first half so far. Offensive rebound, weak side going up strong is Fitzhugh. Only person there, lack of attention there by the by the Foot of Cougars defense, got to block everybody out. That left fits you open for an easy bucket. Enterprise up by two, 22-20 with three minutes left to go. Kelly thought about the three, now he'll reload. Catch! Oh. Inside outside game by Foothills. They've shown it all here in the first half. Each Every player, it seems like they can play inside and also Shoot the outside jumper. So Foothill now back on top. We go back and forth here. Largest lead was Enterprise by five. Corner three. Oh! Ooh. Might have to turn the sprinklers on. Both teams on fire here. <laughs> and nicely done by Fidhu. Set his feet up so he, when he got that pass, he was immediately in shooting position. Took that open jumper for the three, and he drained it. So Abney hits the three, then comes out. He is replaced by, look like, no, Angley. Angley's in, and Abney hit the three. So Angley and Abney. Good rebound. Oh, but big fella. Get the ball to a guard. Yeah. It'll be off foothill. It'll be enterprise ball. They lead by two. 2.15 left to go in the first as we see the D2 girls. Filing in, and that'll be Pleasant Valley versus Chico. Actually, Chico playing in both championship games, Division II for boys and girls. Three ball. Taylor Angley with another three. 
Great 20, ball rotation by Enterprise. 28-23, Enterprise catching fire from downtown here. Both teams shooting a high percentage. How about another answer? Way short, Fudge tries to save it, but he's out of bounds. Samples looks like he just went a little bit out of his range right there. And that could be playing out of your game just a bit. And he'll immediately go to the bench as replacing him is number 33 on the roster. And that would be Grant Smith, the uh, sophomore guard. Janu Shefkis gonna check back in for Foothill who replaced Fudge. Fudge gave him some good minutes off the bench. Took a charge, had a block shot, a couple of rebounds. Enterprise up by five with the ball. 1.30 to go in the first. Foothill back in the 2-3 zone. Good entry pass. But unable to finish was Ayers. Yeah, he's got to make that. Oh, good pass. Oh, good stop, too. Good body control. How about a three? Hit nothing but net, but didn't go through the hoop first. Yeah. That's the problem. Air ball. <laughs> Look at that play got kind of broken up when uh, Januszewski right there kind of had a loss of control of the basketball and it stopped short on the baseline. Crisasso to Angley, back to Crisasso. Woods got away with the walk. He gets it back. Oh, good move inside the little fella. Angley, five foot nine, playing like a big guy. 30, 30, 30, 23. He's got eight points in the first half, doing a nice job, Taylor Angley. So Enterprise on an 8-0 run. They trailed 23-22. They scored the last eight. Fake right goes left. Pull up. Free throw line. Swing it to the left side now. Kelly has it. To, to Janusiewicz in the corner. Back to Janusiewicz. Just eight to shoot. Now five to shoot. Kelly going to pull up air. Four shot there. They do get it back on the turnover. Nice. Not sure who Angley was throwing that one to. They'll hold for one here. Yeah, Grant Smith tipped the ball back uh, to number 23, Josh Smith. And as you said, Porter now with the basketball. Well, this is your playmaker, Porter. Misses. Oh, Enterprise Woods can throw up a half quarter. Good if it goes. <laughs> it goes over the backboard. <laughs> and that's the end of the first half. Entertaining first half in the books for the Division Three Boys Northern Section Championship. And you're watching CIFNorthern.tv, your home for high school sports in the northern section. Once again, your halftime score, Enterprise 30, Foothill 23. 3.16 left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the 45 of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's gonna run this to the five, 10, touchdown, Wolverines! How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow. He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from He Dion. took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just. <laughs> Holy cow. Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A-gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two. Get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right. Gets away from two sacks. Dons win. Sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And number 40, Lucas Zinder with the game-saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion, pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. Touchdown. Bird goes 38 yards for the touchdown on the sweep. One more snap is all it's going to take. And there you have it, folks. Your 2011 Division I Sack Joaquin section champions, the Granite Bay Grizzlies, as they defeat Pleasant Grove 30 to 24. Jacqueline Williamson, her serve is over, dug by Holt. 
Giblin going back to Holt near side. Cut shot, kept alive, back in one by Cathedral. And this one is out as Castanon Hill sends it wide. And the Cathedral Dons have won the title 16-14 in game five. Thomas with the ball, swings it out to Norris. Cameron Taylor tried to block that one away. Norris with a strong take, blocked by B.J. Anya. Huge block, Robinson leading the break the other way, gets it to Grant, oh. slam dunk Jeremy Grant off the feed from James Robinson. What a play by the stack. Hancock to his immediate left. Two receivers far side, one near side. Hancock on a counter, right side. He's inside the 10, he bounces off a tackler at the 10, the five, touchdown Helix. And behind Hancock, the field is littered with white jerseys on the turf. Wow. Hancock not to be outdone by his fellow uh, <laughs> playmakers on offense. Put on a show on that short 12-yard touchdown run. Looked like he was down after three yards. Just threw a defender on the ground. Uh, sophomore Chris Carter steps under center. In their tight wing formation, Lycos in motion. Second back through is Freeman. Freeman just knocking people over. Look at him run, breaks through, four tackles, and now it's just a foot race to the end zone. And Freeman's going to go the distance. Touchdown, Imperial, on the first play of the second half. Second and six for Imperial from their own 47. They're going to give it to Freeman again off the right, left side. And Freeman gets by one wave and down across the 20, 40 yard line. Still on his feet. Look at him run down to the 20 yard line. One man to beat. Gets by him. Touchdown, Freeman. How did he do that? Holy cow. 64 yard touchdown run. His fifth of the game. Royce Freeman, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the top rushing and the <laughs> as I look over to our partners at KXO Radio, the top rusher wow. in the San Diego section for the next two years. That's just amazing. That is just amazing. They hit him in the backfield. They hit him at the line of scrimmage. They hit him a couple yards downfield. They hit him again near no the goal line. Second count can be started. Nobody was close enough defensively. Lyle's going to swing left side. Robinson. Here is a backdoor lob there for Grant. They've been wanting that all game. And they got it, 50-42. They lulled you to sleep, and then they hit Grant on the back door. They trail by two. McMorrow's kick is on the way, and it is good. good. St. Augustine has their first lead of the game. 21 to 20 with 25 seconds to play the senior McMorrow with a huge kick not the longest of his career but the biggest of his career oh, St. Geez. Augustine leads it 21 to already 20. lining up they won't even have to run that one more play they just act yeah, yes why bother so there you have it your five-time defending division three champions the Cathedral Catholic Dons Running up over and through Olympian, 41 to nothing here from Qualcomm Stadium. Patriots down 21-17. Great ball game here. Dylan taking it, looking right, throwing it up top to Gaines. It will be caught by Gaines. Oh, my goodness. It looked like the defender had it, but Gaines stole it away from him. Jason Gaines, are you kidding me, my friend? Oh, boy. It looked like for sure we had an interception by the Tories, but as they both were going to the ground, Jason Gaines just wrestled it away from him. Shane Dillon to Jason Gaines on an 11-yard play. Fanchin in the game, now out, replaced by Hayashi, the libero for defense. Wenzel serve, championship point, ball up in the air. Hayashi's going to bring it back. Richards, deep one over and three. Free opportunity. Look for Wallace. No, they go Becker. Hayashi then tap over in two by Hollingsworth. Now look for Wallace for the match. <laughs> Kathleen Wallace. No better way for the Bulls to finish it than giving it to their senior leader. 25-12, 25-15, and with eight straight points to close out their third straight D5 championship on a kill by Kathleen Wallace, 25-21 in game three. Branson.
has won the D5 title. To the backfield, it's Hernandez and Northcutt. Sets to throw is Thomas, has time, goes for the home run. It's intercepted in the end zone. Seemed like it, they tried to go to Martin, and Martin slipped. Stockton, Hillmore, and Escalon. That's going to do it, folks. Victory formation, take a kneel. The clock comes out. The clock will tick down. The players jumping up at midfield. I think I see a, a Gatorade. Did, did we have a Gatorade shower? Uh, we most certainly did. Casey Taylor getting the shower there. Very much deserved. Down to 12. Great tackle there by Ronald Williams there to make the stop for Helix. And the Helix fans are starting to celebrate here. This is going to be the final play. Five seconds. Pow Pow will hand it off. And they're going to get in the end zone touchdown. That's Keegan who gets in. But that's going to be the end of the ball game. 44 to 6 will be the score. So Oceanside scores on the final play of the ball game. And gets a consolation prize just to, to make this is kind of say that, hey, we didn't get shut out. So 44-6 to six is your score. And Helix is celebrating on the sideline. Oceanside streak of seven straight championship games has been ended. Two minutes and five seconds left on the clock. Clock rolling, third down and 15 for the Patriots. Dylan, he's got time, steps up. He's going to chuck it deep. He's got a man open. Seth Collins with a diving catch. He hauls it in at the 25. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you right there. Dylan goes to show why he is a Division I prospect as he's able to step up, elude the pressure, see Collins down the field, and make the connection. As I'll tell you right now, there has not been a bigger catch for Seth Collins this entire season. Fans nervously wait on the far side. Trips right. Vernon, the lone receiver to the left. Troy Zine rolls right. Here we go. And he's going to be... Oh, he gets away, but can't get away from the second slew. Vacaville takes over on downs, and the crowd erupts. So does the sideline. Got to watch it. Got to watch the sideline yeah, here. Yeah, they Remember, really they were up 35-26. Two unanswered touchdowns. That's going to do it, folks. Your 2011 Division II Sac Joaquin section champions, the Vacaville Bulldogs, they win 39-35 in a Third and four from the 24-yard line. If this kick is made, I think I know who our player of the game is unless Escalon can pull a rabbit out of the hat. Snap down. Hole is good. Kick from Bancourt. It's through the uprights. It is good. Bancourt gets lifted up by his holder. Hillmar is up 20 to 17 with 19.5 seconds left. The fans across from us on the Hillmar side. And welcome back. We are at halftime here. Enterprise uses an 8-0 run to take a 30-23 halftime lead over Foothill in the Division Three Northern Section Championship game. And Thomas Conroy, my partner, is going to give you some halftime stats here. Yeah, the scoring for the Enterprise Hornets, their leading scorers are their two backcourt mates. Tyler Angle has eight, along with Kalen Chrisass, though. Three, uh, three points goes to Brad Woods, and Andrew Fitzhugh off the bench scored seven. The big man, Br uh, Brandon Ayers, had four points. For the Foothill Cougars, their leading scorer was Dalton Kelly with seven points. Follow that by Jeremy Samples, two threes for six. And then uh, Gabe Porter... Josh Smith and Elijah Putnam each had two points apiece. All right, so here we go. Chain, team's going to switch directions now. They'll, each team will shoot in front of their own bench. Foothill moving right to left. And a quick turnover. Enterprise feisty man-to-man -man defense causes the T.O. And Enterprise now will look to build on their seven-point lead. Enterprise doing a nice job keeping that ball away from Porter. Foothills leading scorer there at that time could not get the could not get the pass and it went out of bounds for a turnover. For Enterprise Angley, Cristasto, Woods, Fitzhugh, and Ayers. There's your starting five. There's a that's gonna be an over and back. And for Foothills, same start as two. Brett Cloney, Gabe Porter, Jeremy Samples, Dalton Kelly, and Cooper Janusz 
7.20 to go. 30-23, Enterprise on top. Number one versus number two seed. Almost identical records. Enterprise 20 and six, good feed down low. And missing the first time, but putting it back in was Janu Shefkis. Yeah, should apologize to Cooper. He had four points in the first half. That was his sixth point. And turnover. So Foothill, the aggressor here early on. Good ball handling up top by Angley. Good look there by Janu Shefkis, but unable to finish. Ayers with a good rebound there, as Angley has it. Whips the ball around to Brad Woods. Angley now. now. Enterprise 12 to shoot. Clock kicking down to five. Oh, maybe a little bit too patient there. Good hands there by Foothills. Porter bringing the ball up court. Fitzhugh knocked it away. And the Cougars now will reset it up. 30-25. Only two points scored here in the first two minutes. That was by Foothill by Jenny Shefkis. Kelly. Three ball on the way, left corner, no. And the rebound comes to Angley, looks to push. Gets it to his backcourt mate, Christosto. Over to Woods, here's Angley. Thought about the three. Foothill staying in that patented 2-3 two, two, zone. Mishandled down low on the baseline. Here's a three ball, no. Big rebound for the big fella. Oh, Ayers. Ayers went over two guys to get that rebound. Nicely done by the big guy. Just a sophomore. 6'6", six, six. he's still got a gro growth spurt in him. Come back next year, he could be 6'10". <laughs> yeah, make a decision sooner than that if you're the, if you're the point guard, Christosto. Looked like he jumped and then decided what he should do. Timeout on the floor, 5.06 remaining, 32-25 Enterprise on top of Foothill. Right here on CIFNorthern.tv. You're right. home for high school sports in the northern section. I'm gonna have your game broadcast live on the internet and be able to watch it again and again on demand while making money for your sports program. Wanna give your students the opportunity to create your, their own broadcast for your school's athletic events? Then contact us at info at kbcsports.com. We offer season packages for schools, full curriculum for your students, and an opportunity to raise up to $10,000 for your sports program. Again, that's info at kbcsports.com or call us at 619-677-3246. 5.06 to go here in the third quarter. 32-25, Enterprise over the Foothill Cougars. A little bit of a sloppy play here to start it off. We've only had one, two buckets, both by the big men, Ayers and Januszewski, for Foothills and Enterprise, respectively. Back to the play-by-play -play with Benton. So here we go. As Thomas mentioned, five minutes left to go in the third. Both teams are a little bit sluggish here to start the third. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before the offenses pick up the momentum. Cloney, on top to Kelly. Kelly dribble drive to the left, who had a shot, passed it up. It's back to Cloney for three, no. Well, Hornets with the rebound, looking to add to their seven point lead. Very young enterprise team. This team's gonna be good for the next couple years at least. Yeah, definitely fundamentally sound, great ball movement. Well, look at that inside position. <laughs> and uh, you get the ball that deep, it, uh, all Ayers has to do is just turn around and a little jump hook, that's just automatic. Yeah, and he spreads himself out to make a great, easy pass for the for the for the point guard, and that's exactly what happened there for that easy hoop. Well, if Enterprise should win, I know. I personally like to get a senior for the player of the game, but they don't have any <laughs> on the roster. Well, it'll be an underclassman if they should win. Three ball, no. 
And there you go, the big fella, Januszewski, six foot four, settling for the three. Now Foothill in a little bit of a rut here. Yeah, that outside three or, or, or even those regular two point shots aren't hitting here in, in the early going of the second half like they did when they had that early lead on, on the Hornets. Enterprise with their largest lead of the game right now, 34-25. Nine point advantage. Foothill staying in the 2-3 zone. Now they're, they're fronting the big fella down low, which is a smart idea. Woods, eight to shoot. Cross court pass. Oh, good pump fake. 18 footer, nothing but twine. Christosto, the sophomore. The ball, excuse me, the ball movement that keeps the defense moving around and then eventually you're gonna get an easy jumper and that's what happened right there. And that ball, as you said, that pump fake shot was excellent. Good patience there by Christosto. Didn't take the, what the defense was giving him at first. Said, hey, I don't need the three. I can get myself a little bit better. Now he looks to push. One on three. Three ball, no. But look who's there to mop it up. <laughs> Ayers. Big man showing it now, and now timeout here by the Cougars. Yeah, good timeout there. It's getting away from Foothill a little bit. They trail by their largest deficit, 38-25. We'll take a break in the action. 2.47 left to go in the third. You're listening to the Division Three Northern Section Championship game right here on CIFNorthern.tv, your home for high school sports for the Northern Section. KBCSports.com will be providing live audio coverage of the state regional basketball championships as well as the finals. March Madness comes to high school basketball in California on March 17th for the regional basketball championships. Four venues are covered around the state. Then the following weekend on March 23rd and 24th, it's the California State Basketball Championships. You can catch it all on KBC Sports, your home for high school sports. KBCSports.com and Play On Sports Network showcase great high school games every week and now you can have access to our content using multiple platforms. Follow us on Facebook, get the latest KBC and Play On news on Twitter, or catch our highlights in high definition on YouTube. All of our content can now link to your favorite social media sites. Share all the high school action you see every week. Brought to you by your home for high school sports, kbcsports.com and Play On Sports. Look for this guy right here with the ball, Gabe Porter to get going here. He's a leading scorer on the year, but he's been quiet here this afternoon. Only two points. This could be huge. Got it. He needed a three. And Jeremy Samples. He seems to be the resident three-point shooter. That's his third in the game. And that cuts the lead to 10. Porter does a good job of penetrating, finding the open man. They needed that one. They were on 25 for a while. So 38-28, 2.20 left to go in the third. Division three, Northern section, boys championship game here from Chico State. An acre gym. 20 to shoot. Good baseline pass, but losing it. Loose scramble for it, and... They called a timeout. Enterprise gonna call a timeout, so... Nice hustle there by Ayers, getting on the floor there to grab that loose ball. Definitely looked like uh, it was gonna be Peoples underneath there that was gonna grab that basketball, but he could not get a hold of it. And then Ayers gained control and then called the timeout immediately. 2.05 to go here in the third. 10 point lead for the Hornets. Looks like they'll be coming out in the court real fast. Definitely the Hornets have to settle down defensively. I think they gotta play a little bit better now. Get themselves, uh, stop running around. They look like they're, there's a little fr frenetic pace there defensively. Stay with your man and not allow them to get that ball movement on the outside perimeter. Well, both teams will advance to the state tournament starting on Tuesday. Winner will get a home game. Loser will have to go on the road. Couple of subs coming in for Foothill. Fudge and Putnam will replace Samples and Kelly. Two all-star guards. We'll see how Foothill does on offense without those two guys out there. Probably just getting a breather. We'll keep them fresh for the fourth quarter. 
Woods to Cristasto. Good dribble driving kick. And the shot clock violation. Yeah, great play there, but defensively, number 33, Grant Smith, the sophomore, really got his hands active in the passing lane. Of course, a little disruption there for Foothills, and they got the turnover. Porter's been quiet. Let's see if he can get it going here. Fudge has it up top. Good entry pass. And put it in. It was Putnam. Great pass there by Fudge. Put it where only Putnam could get it. One more bucket, and they're right back in this basketball game. Eight-point deficit as we approach the one-minute mark of the third. Angley, good extra pass and patience. Woods has it, right baseline. Get back out top to Angley. Now reset with Cristasto, 10 to shoot. Three ball, no, back rim. Loose scramble for it. <laughs> Scrum. <laughs> That's an old fashioned rugby scrum right yeah, there. About five guys on the ground. Love the effort. Laying it all on the line here. Ayers will check back in. Go and up. Tronkale. And I guess they're going to rule Enterprise game possession of the basketball. Tronkale, correction. And I, believe, I believe this is his first appearance today. How about this three? Money in the bank. Left him wide open again. Breakdown in the defense. Can't let those guards stay outside. They will drain you e easily. Enterprise is young, but man, they got some shooters. Sometimes you're almost too young to, to really know what's going on. You just go out there and play your game. Yeah, I love the poise by the young backcourt. That's been really, to me, the big key in this game. These, kid, these kids are young, but they're very poised. They make the right decisions. Nine out of 10 times. Yeah, Angler and Crisasso have been dynamic. A couple of juniors for Enterprise. And the <laughs> Crisasso, five foot nine, playing about six nine down there on the right block. Goes up strong, draws the foul, and looking to add to the 11 point lead. And, and, we'll point, and 1.7 seconds ago in the third, that was the first foul called in this quarter. Fudge with it. A little too aggressive on his shot block attempt. Scosto missed the first free throw. Isaiah Matthews checks in for the Hornets. He played a bit in the first half. Second one's good. So the lead's a dozen. 1.7. Porter got to throw up a three quarters heave. Hits all glass. Three Quarters in the book. That one was dominated by Enterprise. And we'll take a quick break in the action, get you ready for the fourth quarter. CIFNorthern.tv, your home for high school sports. In the northern section, Enterprise 42, Foothill 30. Need a highlight video for your athlete working to earn that four-year scholarship? Then you want to contact kbcsports.com. We can provide recruiting video for any athlete in any sport. Not only that, we'll give you your own recruiting page right on your own on our website. No more mailing DVDs to colleges. Instead, just email coaches the link to your own personal web page. For more information, including pricing, contact us at recruits at kbcsports.com or call us at 619-677-3246. Now catch the best of Northern Section Basketball on CIFNorthern.tv. You can watch a replay of today's game after each one concludes. Plus, check out game highlights, player interviews, and more. Or order a DVD or Blu-ray of your favorite game. We're your home for basketball in the North section, CIFNorthern.tv. So Foothill will start with the ball trailing by a dozen. They score at halftime, Thomas? 30-23, Enterprise over Foothill. So 12-7, Enterprise outscored. Outscored uh, Foothill, I should say. Opening possession here in the fourth. Good looking shot in the left elbow by the lefty. Troncoli, but it's front rim. And one and done too. Enterprise doing a good job on the boards, Thomas. 
Yeah, exactly. And, and Ayers has a lot to do with that. That big frame gets pretty much stops any, any second chance opportunities. It's Fitzhugh to Wood. Back up top to Angley. That a Cristosto. That three ball is no good. Foothill looking to push. The Enterprise does a good job of getting back, that's for sure. Ooh, jump stop. Pass inside, right block. No, gets his own rebound. A little floater, good. Elijah Putnam there was not going to be denied there. Nice, nice patience by the youngster as he got his second chance opportunity. Ball was getting batted around a bit, and then he just grabbed it out of the air inside the paint and put it up, and that's yeah. what they need. Yeah, Putnam, excellent body control there. 42-32. See if Foothill can get some stops here. They're trying to double on Ayers in any opportunity they can get. Offensive foul. There's one stop. Yeah, and it's Fudge. Fitzhugh goes on the baseline, got a little too aggressive. And boy, you, exactly as you said, Fudge was waiting for him, and he drew the charge, and that's Fitzhugh's second foul. That's the kind of player you love having on your team, a guy that will come in, do all the dirty stuff. That's the third charge he's taken. He hasn't played a whole lot. Set himself nicely down in the box there, Fudges. How about this 18-footer, left side, no. Rebound goes long to Smith. Shot clock reset, three ball, nope. Another opportunity. And nowhere to go was Putnam, so he just threw it off of Ayer's leg. 42-32, 5.58 left to go. Division three, Northern Section Championship game. And that just proves your point. They're very active defensively, always in good position, Enterprise. And right there, Smith had no, excuse me, Putnam had no chance for it. Had to throw it off the air as they, the, the, to get a new shot clock. Try to feed oh. Fudge, and it's knocked away. Fitzhu, great defensive play. Got right around his, the offensive player to knock that ball away from him. And Enterprise head coach Mike Hallworth going to call a timeout. We'll take one as well. 5.39 left to go. Enterprise, pretty much since the beginning of the second quarter, has led. They lead by 10. CIF Northern.TV, your home for high school sports in the northern section. Stay tuned for the CIF Northern.TV postgame show where we will select our player of the game as well as wrap up all the action from this ball game. That's coming up following the game on CIF Northern.TV. You can watch highlights or replay of today's game in our on-demand section and you can also buy a DVD or Blu-ray of today's game right on CIF Northern.TV. Simply click on buy DVD and you can order today's game right now. So have a game that lasts a lifetime. Brought to you by CIF Northern.TV. Five thirty-nine to go, and Enterprise. I think Ben, you could safely say they're sensing that a couple more buckets here, and with their stifling defense, that they could cause turnovers. They might seal this victory on these next couple of possessions. These two backcourt right here. Angley doing a fine job, and he passes it off to Cristosto. Yeah, starters in the game for uh, Enterprise. Angley, Cristosto, Woods, Fitzhugh, and Ayers. Five twenty to go, and a hold. Geez, only the third total foul here in the second half. That's amazing. Uh, both teams well coached, well disciplined. Yeah, you very rarely see them out of position defensively where they have to use their hands uh, to kind of stop play. Foothill is going to go with Samples, Putnam, Kelly, Cloney, and Smith. 5.20 to go, 10-point Enterprise lead. Section title on the line. A home state playoff game on Tuesday. Just a fun month for basketball. High school, got March Madness coming up. NBA in full tilt. <laughs> if you're a Hoops fan, this is a great month. You can get overkill in the games uh, every night of the week. Under five to go. Foothill needs a 
a bucket here. The crowd's just, they're quiet. They got a good student section here, but they've just kind of been waiting for something to, to happen as Ayers clears the boards. Haven't really had too much to get excited about. Good pressure defense here right in front of our. Yeah, Smith going from one uh, from one guard to the other right there, trying to create something with it, with, it, with his hands in the passing lane. 12 to shoot for the Hornets. Man, you hate to see a foul like that. Away from the basket with the shot clock running down. Foothill gonna make a couple subs. Tron Coley and Porter into the game, replacing Cloney and Smith. Boy, if Porter could somehow just get a little hot here, being the leading scorer, they'd be right back in this game, but he's had a hard time just handling the basketball. And Enterprise, look at this, sticking with the starters. They only, they've only played two guys off the bench. Well, these kids are young, and they could probably play a full game if they oh, need to. They could probably to. play four games <laughs> in a row. How about the pull-up? No. Look at Ayers fight for it. And Enterprise going to get another shot. And well, look at it. Well disciplined. Instead of rushing a shot back up, they're going to reset. And so Foothill with three fouls on this Enterprise possession alone. Yeah, great play there by number 20, Ben or Brad Woods right there, the guard. Junior guard did a nice job there. Get the second chance opportunity. Really wild play. Fitu fell to the ground and then nicely threw it back outside to one of his teammates. Sloppy play here and a foul, yeah. He's 28 feet away from the hoop. That's five, four on this possession alone. So best case scenario for Enterprise, get yourself in the bonus and, and work a lot of clock. Uh, working on about two game minutes here just on this possession. Trunk Hill with his second. Stossel, nice handles, just a sophomore. It's it to Fitzhugh. This entire team's gonna be back next year. Ayers was wide open, they didn't see him. Here's Woods, a little floater. And there, and finally Foothill gets the rebound, and it's Putnam. And finally Porter gets the ball in the open court. Yeah, see if he can do something. Porter dishes it back, left elbow jumper, cash. Good looking shot there by Putnam. And Foothill coach Bill Elliott gonna call a timeout. Just under three minutes ago, 2.58, 42.34, Enterprise on top here on CIFNorthern.tv, your home for high school sports in the northern section. KBCSports.com will be providing live audio coverage of the state regional basketball championships as well as the finals. March Madness comes to high school basketball in California on March 17th for the regional basketball championships. Four venues of coverage around the state. Then the following weekend on the 23rd and 24th, it's California State Basketball Championships. You can catch it all on KBCSports.com, your home for high school sports. Enterprise is going to stick with their starters. Why not? This group's been solid. Yeah, I like that last possession by, by 15 Porter. He drew the defense towards him and then passed it off to Putnam for that easy jumper to cut the, finally to cut the lead to eight. Foothill in a full court press now. 16 foul, so Enterprise is going to be shooting free throws from here on out. It's like a... 3-1-1, full court press. See if they can force Enterprise into a couple turnovers. Oh, almost one there, right underneath the hoop. Great read by Kelly there to try to get that loose ball, or that pass ball, I should say. And he just tipped it out of bounds. I mean, that almost looks like they're fouling on purpose. <laughs> On those last two. Yeah, right. I totally agree with 60 that. 60 feet away from the hoop. I don't get that. So here we go. Bonus now. It seems like the, the idea is, is let him inbound the ball, try to pressure him, and then if he breaks the, the two-man press, then foul him immediately. Don't let him work up court to, to gain any advantage offensively. Eight comes in for Ayers. Front end of the one-on-one's good. Casasto, he's got a bright future. Just a sophomore, good looking point guard. 11 points on the evening. 
Second one rattles home, back to a 10 point lead. Porter leads directions for Foothill. A little high low here. The lefty pull up jumper, good. Strong Colley, I believe that's his first bucket, right? Yes. Oh, it here's is. a steal to backcourt. And there's four quick points right there. And Porter gets going. So down to six and nearly another steal. Well, that's what they needed, Thomas, was a couple quick baskets. And I'm just curious about these fouls. Because Enterprise has done a good job at the stripe. Yeah, it surprised me. If they were a terrible free throw shooters, it's almost you would you would say, why not put them on the foul line? But they are making their free throws. And Woods, uh, Woods hit a three early in the game. But for Porter, that was only that was, that was his first bucket since early on in the second quarter. Well, the thing is, there's just too much time to be fouling 60 feet away from the hoop. They might be with that philosophy, that old North Carolina philosophy of just stopping the clock and hopefully uh, you, you'll gain more possessions over time. Right, by putting them on the free throw line, but they can't, they gotta, they can't make their you're free just, throws. You're, you're giving away points. Yeah, I, I, I agree. don't get that. You just play good defense, and here's a th uh, three. It's partially blocked. Good defense, but you never want to save it. I told Jeff Kirk's last game I worked with, you never want to save it under your own hoop. 46-40. Now, play it straight up D. You still got two minutes left. Twenty to shoot. They don't want to foul here. Kelly now. Oh, we almost tipped the ball away. Twelve to shoot. Here's a three. This could be a dagger. And there we go. Down. Oh, that's disappointing. He missed the layup, however, and a foul. Only the second team foul on Enterprise. Yeah, Kelly got the rebound, and then Fitzhugh came out of nowhere, knocked the ball away from him. Looked like he was going to have an easy look at the basket. Somehow he missed it. Well, he's going to have an earful, too, from <laughs> Fitzhugh's getting an earful from Hallworth. That's one of those, if you make the layup, good decision. If you miss a layup, why didn't you take it back yeah. out? <laughs> 124 to go, six-point game. Huge and possession here. Angley with the foul underneath the basket as the, the Cougars bring the ball up court. Porter gets a high screen. He's been quiet. This three could be huge. He drills it. Unbelievable. We got a three-point game, folks. Yeah, he wanted that ball, and he took that shot beautifully. So Porter coming on late here. What do we got? What's the whistle? Now we got the officials meeting together. So Enterprise, a little bit nonchalant here in this fourth period. Remember, they led by 12. Enterprise called a timeout. So it turned out to be an excellent ball game. Low scoring, but 46-43. Enterprise clinging to a three-point lead. CIFnorthern.tv, your home for high school sports in the northern section. KBTSports.com and Play On Sports Network showcase great high school games every week. And now you can have access to our content using multiple platforms. Follow us on Facebook at the latest KBC and Play On News on Twitter. Or catch our highlights in high definition on YouTube. All of our content can now, link, can now be linked to your favorite social media sites. Share all the high school action you, you see every week. Brought to you by your home for high school sports. KBCSports.com and Play On Sports. So Gabe Porter probably hit his biggest jumper in this game and he took the def defense on and hit that shot for that big three. Porter's got... He's got, he's got five in the quarter, seven in the game. And now they'll, they'll take it off to our left. Will the Hornets. Foothill, play straight up here. No reason to foul. Go for the steal. Ooh, Woods almost traveled. They're never gonna foul. Angley, what do you think of that decision? I don't like it, I, I agree. You, you, you play straight up, you, you, make him, you, you make him make a shot. Porter looked like he was trying to go for the foul and try to go from behind and he's gonna put the, uh, put the youngster Angley on the line. 
And the head coach over there, Coach Elliott, he didn't like it either. The foul? Yeah. He wants him to play straight up. He's talking to a few of his players. And because Enterprise is making their free throws. Yeah, the junior and the sophomore have really done a nice job, the underclassmen, of playing poise, especially with the, pr the pressure. Right now, we're just under a minute. These buckets are crucial. Five-point lead. Yeah. Look for Porter to create for his own shot here. I expect him to take another three. He's going to drive dish to the corner. Three ball. Oh, hit the side of the backboard. And a foul immediately. Now you almost have to. Yeah, Peoples, or excuse me, Samples with the uh, foul. Tough three because setting up with Josh Smith in the corner perfectly feet wise and then it just left his hands and you knew it was not going to be a, a good three. So Coach Hallworth looking for his second section title of the year, one with the volleyball team in the fall. First free throw is good by Casasto. Six point game. Coach saying don't give up any threes. They've made six straight free throws. It's a seven point game. It was to th down to three. Porter gonna pull up for three. Go! Oh! And you gotta figure where's this been all game? Porter been quiet, now he's heating up here in the fourth. Yeah, and boy, he shows great. He jumps so high and his release point simply just out of reach of the defender. Great three look there. Well, that's a good point because it, the defender switched on the screen and mm -hmm. he had a hand in the face. Mm -hmm. There's Porter a little bit higher extension. That's what scorers do, though, uh, Thomas. You know, they, you can hold them quiet for three and a half quarters, but eventually they're going to get going. And Porter now with, what, he's got eight here in the fourth. Yep. Ten in the threes. game now. But I agree with you. Their defense, give the, give the Hornets a lot of credit because they denied him the ball for, 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 three, for three quarters. But in his fourth quarter, he's turned his game up a notch, and it's been awfully tough to defend him. And right now, once again, you gotta press and hopefully create a turnover here fast so you can get that quick strike again here with 30, 39.7 to go. So you go for the steal here on the inbounds pass. If you can't get it, then you foul immediately. Hopefully, you don't wanna foul one of those guards. Maybe foul fits you or... Uh, I mean, cause... Seems like Angley and Christos are gonna make free throws all day. Yeah, Tyler Ayers comes in the game. And they get it to Angley. He got fouled immediately. You do Double it. bonus time. Look at Enterprise, only two team fouls. Yeah, this is the, the most fouls in it for the Cougars, I believe, in this quarter. And a lot of them, as you said, were forced fouls. Good. They're making their free throws. Seven in a row. 38 seconds left. Enterprise on top, 51-46. Division three boys, Northern Section Championship game. They finally miss a free throw. So five points, a three ball here. You're right back in this thing. See if they get a high screen for Porter. He wants it, drives to the lane. Ooh, he almost should have got a hand one. Looked like he was held. It yeah, looked Wood, like he was held. Woods could not, could, could not contain him. He went right around him on the baseline and did it strong right to the rim with his, with his right hand. And it's a three point game with 28.4. It's a full timeout as Foothill now out of timeouts. Enterprise has one. Possession arrow is in favor of Enterprise. 28 seconds left. So here you gotta go for the steal on the inbounds. You can't, don't get the steal. You foul immediately. And Coach Howard has to re reinforce to his team, hey, if, if, you don't, if you don't have the inbounds, call a timeout. We have one, to, one left. And now the referee's instructing uh, the Hornets that they can move up and down the back uh, the, to, to inbound the ball. And that's always good to know. Right now, everything's in favor of Enterprise. Even if they tie up a ball handler, they will get possession of the, of, of the ball back with, due to the arrow. 
And now Foothill coming out with a little bit bigger lineup here, trying to make it a tougher passing lanes for the Hornets. And nobody on the ball either, so they're face guarding the guards. Ooh, oh. they almost got it. I almost got the steal. Man, I thought Porter timed it perfectly to knock that ball away. About a second late. Fourth foul on Porter. But not much time off the clock. It's 26.4, and you get in the Porter's hands. He's up and down the court in less than five seconds. Sure feels good. <coughs> By Angley. Twenty-six seconds left. Four-point game. Division three, Northern Section Boys Championship game. Two big free throws by Angley. It's five. Here's Porter. Off balance, wild three. That might do it. That might just do it, folks. And a foul. Porter fouls out. Good sportsmanship there. So that's it for Porter. That might just about do it. Yeah, Porter thought he was fouled on that three. And the Foothill gave it a nice push, down 12 in the quarter. They cut it to three, but Enterprise just, I mean, what are you going to do? They're making their free throws. And yeah, they gave a valiant effort here. It made it interesting. Just could not get that one turnover to put him back into the game. If Angley puts, him, puts these through, this will be the ball game. Misses the first one. Still two possession game. Enterprise gonna use their last timeout. So both teams out of timeout. 13 seconds left, we'll take a quick break in the action. Enterprise on top, 54 to 48. Stay tuned for the CIF Northern.TV post game show where we will select our player of the game as well as wrap up all the action from this ball game. Coming out following the game on CIF Northern.TV. Catch some of the, catch the best Northern section basketball on CIF Northern.TV. You can watch a replay of today's game after each one concludes. Plus check out the game highlights of, or the player interviews or more right on. You can even order a DVD or Blu-ray disc of the game where you're home for basketball in the Northern section, CIF Northern.TV. We go under 10 seconds to go. They're just gonna let him get a layup. Four point game. Clock running, you don't have to throw it in, that's it. Enterprise, your 2012 Division III Northern Section Champions. They defeat Foothill 54 to 50. We'll take a break in the action. We'll come back with our player of the game interview, wrap things up, get you ready for the D2 Girls Championship game coming up next right here on CIFNorthern.tv. Your home for high school sports in the northern section. Once again, your final score, Enterprise Hornets improved to 21-6. and six. They defeat the Foothill Cougars who fall to 20-8, and 54-50. to 50. Fourth and 10 from the 41 yard line for St. Augustine. Kennedy dropping back to pass. Looking left, firing, incomplete okay. intended for Nolan. No penalty flags on the field. Mar Vista will take over on downs and Jordan Lertik will take that knee. And the Mar Vista Mariners knock off the number two seeded St. Augustine Saints at Mesa College and a dominating performance on both sides of the football for Mar Vista. They trailed 14 to nothing and came back. Again, down two nothing, facing adversity, and they've really just turned the table around since game number three. Set an attack, great block made back inside the Maverick zone. A chance there by, uh, by Bosback back inside the Maverick zone. Ball attack there by Bosback, a second opportunity by Bosback. Lift violation, call! Ah! Winner, oh. it's the over the, over the net call. Oh my goodness. Balls back, reached over on the attack. A Maverick error. 
wraps up the title for the Presentation Panthers. A 15-9 victory in game number five, and they wrap it up coming back from 2-0 down match-wise and take it three games to two. 36-35 and driving, and oh baby! Shrigley with a jam, and it was with emphasis. And it's the foul, and listen to these fans. <laughs> You know who's standing up right behind us? Tony Bland, who is the head recruiter for San Diego State. I think he's drooling. Somebody get that man a napkin. Quick score on this drive. There goes a hand off to Zeller, trying to go straight ahead, but he is met by Wall. Now he breaks out to the outside, gets across the 30, 35, on the right, 40, midfield. He's running down the sidelines. He's going to go all the way as he's at the 10, 5, touchdown. Patrick Zeller got he stood up at the line of scrimmage and broke out to his left to the far sidelines and he was in a foot race and he went all the way for the touchdown broke a tackle and made it nice and showed his speed as he got outside for the touchdown. Back in the backfield to the left is Campbell. Hernandez takes a snap play action to Campbell looks down the field now here comes the pressure he's going to be hit he breaks the tackle rolls left now he's going to cut up field. He's going to break another tackle, and then another tackle down the sideline. Gets a block inside the five. What a touchdown! Hernandez goes 33 yards in spectacular fashion, breaking four tackles along the way, including two in the backfield, and Hilltop has tied this one up at 29. And reasonably so, he's been doing a good job of leading this offense. Looking for his first touchdown pass of the season for Ray Hudson, and Ray Hudson gets both feet inside the end zone. Touchdown for him. Like you said earlier, it's 6-2 body framing can probably, in what, you, what we just saw there was getting Randy Moss, was what we call getting Moss. Um, clearly just leaped over the defender there, landed both feet in, feet in bounds. Grant with a big, strong defensive rebound. He brings it back down the floor again in another slam dunk. Jeremy Grant can run the point, and he can fly. Huge dunk, two big dunks in the last Muller minute. Muller trying to close it out. Deep ball, up in the air, Cram. Bringing it back, Arbizo. Cram over in three, free opportunity. Look for Rodabaugh, no, pass middle, Weimer! Ball game. 25-19, Foothill wins it three games to one. Because this kid has definitely proven that he he, um, he can make things happen here in this ball game. They will go with him, Bula Graft on a stretch run, just breaking tackles. The little man is in the clear to Tory territory, the 25, the 20. The 10, the 5, touchdown Knights. What a run, the freshman, Bula Graft. Ooh, I tell you what. There were at least three times on that on that run that he should have gone down or he should have been wrapped up. Missed tackles there. Cost, cost La Jolla Country Day as Bula Graft, the freshman running back for Bishops, is able to take it in. And, and that was a determined run there, Andy, by. So first and ten, Brandon Lewis in the shotgun, has time to throw, and he will fire, and he has a mad diving catch. Did he hold on to it? He did. What a catch from Kendall Keys. And that may be the KBC Sports Player of the Week. <laughs> what a catch by he laid himself wow. out there, and a great throw, as you said. Read, read it nicely, did Lewis, and really caught his receiver on the go and just kind of put it out there right on the outstretch of his fingertips. He laid out and he made it. He might be called upon to make a crucial kick. Second down and eight after the two yard gain on the receiver screen. And Ooh. Paulson fires across the right seat for Jack Finney who makes the catch. Stiff arms of defender at the 50 and is finally brought down at the Amador Valley 45 yard line. Flags flying later to go play. for it. Fourth and three, they figure three is easier to get than the field goal at this point. And it's Paulson looking for Finney. Right seam, side, right seam, touchdown. Jack Finney makes the catch. Bounces off a defender, a 23-yard pass and catch from Paulson to Finney, 
and the Foothill Falcons are back out in front. They certainly are. Finney lining up a tight end. I had a feeling the Paulson was going to look right side there as Chase Miller was lined up, receiver far side, but instead it was Finney straight to the post, and Paulson picks him out in stride again. The third catch on the drive for Finney. give it to Tyree on an exchange against the zone, doing a little three-man weave. This is Tyrell back with it. Tyrell's going to go lob back door. Tyree Robinson with a flush. Now that was nice. Very nice design play. Uwaba. Uwaba back there. Bogart takes a snap. He's going to run the play. He's going to throw. He's got a man open at the 10. It's under thrown. It's incomplete. No, or is it caught? It is a catch. Wow, juggling catch inside the five-yard line. Maliga. Was that Maliga pulling that one in? It is Moliga. Boy, that ball was deflected by. And welcome back to the post-game show where Enterprise defeated Foothill 54-50 to win the 2012 Northern Section Championship. I'm here with our player of the game, Taylor, and I don't want to mispronounce her last name, Angley, as I look back at my notes. Just a junior, 17 points. And now you had a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter. You kind of knew that Foothill was going to make a push. How did you withstand that? Um, well, just coming into it, we played them a couple times this season, and you just got to know Phil's going to throw punches at you the whole game, and they're never going to give up. And, of course, Gabe Porter, number 15, he comes up big for him every game, and he had a huge shots down the, down the stretch with the guy in his face. And kudos to them. You know, they played a great game, but uh, just we were able to come through. I'm glad you mentioned uh, Porter because he was quiet for the first three quarters. How did you guys contain him? Um, number 20, Brad Woods, is a great defender, probably one of the best defenders in the section, if not the best uh, we depend on him to do that every, uh, every night, and he came up and stepped, for, stepped up for us again. It's nice to have a guy like Woods who, who can concentrate on defense, doesn't care about getting a shot on offense, just real unselfish player. You kind of need a guy like that. I mean, Definitely. almost. Brad's been that guy for us all season. He's coming back for us next season. We're going to expect for him to do the same thing again. Talk about your young roster. you got no seniors on the roster. You know you guys are going to be good next year, but it's almost like uh, you don't have the experience yet. Uh, you know, here you are, section champions. How do you um, do it with such a young roster? Resiliency, just coming back. You know, we learned a lot from the beginning of the year and just playing together. We found out how to play as a team later in the season and we just kept it rolling. Hopefully, we can keep it rolling for next season, too. How about Chris also? How about the job he did? Oh, you man. guys make a great backcourt. Kalen, Kalen, great point guard leader, leads us through the game the whole game, gets us into our sets, gets us on defense, and just plays hard the whole game and leads us great. How about the crowd? You guys had a nice crowd, made the trip from Reading. Oh, yeah, uh, it's awesome. It's awesome to see anybody come out here to support and thank you to them. and. Can't say enough about it. Oh, definitely. And um, now, what are you guys' uh, expectations, goals uh, for going into the state tournament? I know you're going to host a game, uh, I believe, Tuesday. Talk about as you guys prepare for the state tournament. Um, just win as many games as we can, you know, get as far in the state as we can. And that's our goal. Our goal is to win league, win section. Couldn't get the league, but as soon as we knew we couldn't do that, uh, section was the next goal. And next, we got to try and get as far as we can in the state. Well, who needs a, a league title when you can win section, right? Yeah, definitely. It's the best. <laughs> Talk about Coach Hallworth here. i got a couple more questions for you. I know he won the section with the girls' volleyball. He's been at the school 33 years. Seems like everyone really respects him at the school. And just tell me about what it's like to play for a guy like that. It's amazing playing for Hayworth. You know, just looking at when you, I've been a little kid ever since I wanted to go to Enterprise. And just watching Coach Hayworth coach the, the guys before me and just having that obligation in the past and responsibility to the future. And that's what he always tells us. And, He's just a great coach. Made a, he's made a great history at Enterprise, and hopefully we can just keep it so on. So you grew up wanting to go to Enterprise. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to play for Coach Hayworth my whole life. <laughs> That's awesome. So what's that feel like now that you're section champs? Uh, you know, it's like a dream come true almost, right? It, it's amazing. There's nothing better than it. And how do you celebrate? Um, win some state games. I mean, tonight? <laughs> uh, I think we're all going to my house, you know, hang out, celebrate it. Nice. Stay up late, you know. <laughs> now, there you go. <laughs> all right. Well, we're, you guys got practice Monday, I'm sure. Maybe get the day off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Practice Monday. Come hit it hard and see if we can get a run in state. Here we are. Taylor Angley, our player of the game, had 17 points. Was crucial from the free throw line there in the fourth quarter. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back to wrap things up right here on uh, CIFNorthern.tv. Fourth and 10 from the 41 yard line for St. Augustine. Kennedy dropping back to pass. Looking left, firing, incomplete okay. intended for Nolan. No penalty flags on the field. Mar Vista will take over on downs and Jordan Lertique will take that knee. And the Mar Vista Mariners knock off the number two seeded St. Augustine Saints at Mesa College in a dominating performance 
on both sides of the football for Mar Vista. They trailed 14 to nothing and came back. Again, down two nothing, facing adversity, and they've really just turned the table around since game number three. Set an attack, great block made back inside the Maverick zone. A chance there by uh, by Bosback back inside the Maverick zone. Ball attack there by Bosback. A second opportunity by Bosback. Lift violation call. Uh, winner. Oh. It's a over the over the net call. And welcome back to CIF Northern TV. We're wrapping things up from the D3 boys section title game where Enterprise beat Foothill 54 to 50. One thing uh, our Taylor Angley said that really stuck out with me, he's got a guy like Brad Woods, New Thomas. His main concern was keeping Gabe Porter, you know, from getting a high scoring night. It's nice to have a, a, a guy on your team like that who doesn't care about getting shots. You know, that's so, uh, that's just not the way it is these days with, these, with kids these days. It's just kind of a, a, a breath of fresh air to hear uh, somebody like uh, Woods, with, and all he did was just want to concentrate on Porter, anything he could do to help the team win. I think that's kind of a microcosm of how this uh, Enterprise team handles their business. Yeah, totally. Walking over here, he was like, he, we had a brief chat, and he was like, well, this is a team win. It isn't a personal win. No, I love he felt it. uncomfortable about coming over here, but his coach implored him to get over there, and uh, we're glad that he did it because he's a great youngster. But to me, the, the telling stat of the game was, was Woods – was Woods and and Ansley and uh, and the other guard? They, they yes. Yeah. Thanks for eleven out of twelve points was from the free throw line, and those guys all made a solid contribution to that effort. And that one in the basketball game. Definitely, that's going to wrap it up once again. Enterprise defeats Foothill fifty-four to fifty to capture the two thousand twelve D three boys championship game. We're getting locked and loaded for D two girls coming up next. Pleasant Valley, the Vikings taking on. The Chico Panthers, that's right, that's next on CIF Northern TV. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Once again, your final score, Enterprise 54 and Foothill 50.